Yeah, they was all out there saying you was a rapper and shit. And yeah. I, was like, I was like, yo. And you just walked past me. Yeah. Well, I listen, like, oh, we came after that. You hear me? Here now. <laughs> hey, we here now. I don't fuck with you, though. Oh, no, it's all love. Yeah. yeah. On the Back then, when the bro was like 12, though, yeah. fuck you, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hear me? Oh, God. I didn't know anybody rapped. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That was shit. <laughs> That's my guy. Now, hey, you would yeah, never fuck with Lowe's. You now. never know that happened. This is my man's in there, man, for real, man. But I'm so proud of is- Welcome back to another episode of BTE TV. Today uh-huh. we got on artist Los Lungs Fool. Uh-huh. Sir, tell the people about yourself. Uh, Los Lungs Fool in here, man. You hear me where I'm at? Los Lungs Fool, man. The Toxic Tycoon, man. And ain't nothing measured to a player. It may be fair to a square, man. Uh, motivational speaker I am. Yes, I am. I'm a father. Uh, you know, community activist. Uh, all around influential member of the community, man. You hear me? Tap in with the tycoon, baby. Smell me. How many kids you got? I got three. All daughters. God, I got two daughters. Girl, bro. dad. You got two? Yeah. How many you got, bro? I got, you got nine kids. I, I got nine. I, so I was a girl dad for a long and time. And all of them are daughters. Yeah. Nah, I got some sons. But I uh, I was a girl dad for a long time. You got time. nine kids, bro? Yeah. yeah. He can't pull out a drive. Bro, he shot the whole club up. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he can't pull he out at all. whole club up. Are you having any more? I ain't even going to lie, bro. I need a boy, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm the last man in my family. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? I'm the only son. Yeah, I got to have a boy. You feel what I'm saying? I was the only son of an only son of an only son. And I started out having girls. Yeah. And then... I was like, I got to get some boys out of here. <laughs> like, And finally yeah. I did, but then situations got fucked up. And, um, I mean, finally I got, like, a son that has my last name that hopefully he will produce some more Cunnings. Facts. If not, it's over. Yeah, you got to keep the name going for sure. And I don't even know any other Cunnings. I don't think there are any. <laughs> I, I ain't never heard of y'all. You, you know what? Plan. Let's go ahead. Bring this in and let it out. You know what I feel like? Today's a good day to be alive. Today's a great fucking day to be alive. Yes, sir. So you know what we should that. do? What should we do? We should bring up our energy. Let's be more energetic. Yeah, you and you. Let's go ahead. You know what I mean? Let's go. Let's get it in. Let's start out with the fuck you brought today. You brought us a fucking <laughs> gift. Yeah. Most brought us a motherfucking <laughs> gift. Yeah, what the fuck did you bring? All right, man. Hey, grab that for me. Let's see. All right, I appreciate it. Let's see what. You take that out, man. This, 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 this is what I do, man. I give people their roses while they here. Give them their flowers while they here, man. Y'all been doing it big for this, for the city, man. For real, I really appreciate y'all. I've been watching, uh, man. I'm tapped in all the way, man. So from me to y'all, man, this is my show, my appreciation. Thank what you, y'all my do? Th- God. Thank for you, sure, thank bro. you. You already know what it is. Listen, B T E G V, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to him. Bro, yeah. yeah, you know, I always feel weird about gifts. But I never expect gifts either. Yeah. Flat out. And I really, like, for real appreciate gifts because it's like you took the time out to really be like, I'm going to bring them something. Nobody else said that. And it's something that means something, too. Something that you went out of your way, bought something. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hell yeah, good looking out on that. Because we we've had so that. many people on. The only other person to get us something is uh, Chris and Nikita. You know what I mean? They got us the other BT thing. But you mean, you can never have too much advertisement, baby. That's BT a fact. TV, that's what the fuck we are. And that's what the fuck we do every day of the motherfucking week. God, well, let me you tell you mean? something about We're going to hang this up. See, because I, I, I don't really give nothing. I give advice. Like I said, I give game, I give advice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If I was in jail, I might give rice. But for y'all, you feel me? That's big. That means something for real, man, because, you know what I mean? I really out. respect what y'all got going on, man. Y'all doing it big. For yeah, yeah. I try, to, uh, I try to tap on Losin uh, with Crit Mac. Yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why, didn't you do, why didn't you do that? I mean. Because listen, no, no offense, Crit Mac, if you ever watch our shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Crit Mac can't rap. That's a really big name. Right. And I got the deal for you. You feel me? Okay, listen. I, I would just, listen, even, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying you should need to knock that out, bro, because that would probably, you feel me? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to tap in with him and shit. I, I mean, honestly, he, he is, he's a, he's on a, you know what I mean, a large scale. He's worldwide known, everything like that. But just, you know what I mean, the cloth that I come from, that I come from you know what I mean, my morals and values, and not even know, you know, I mean, I have affiliations, you know what I mean, with the other side, the red side to him, the other side, whatever. But that's not even that. It's just about his, he has a lot of crazy energy going on around. Yeah. And I just don't, money or opportunity, I just don't compromise 
I don't care what it is. I can't. Just, I don't want to compromise. I don't. If he starts pushing a different aspect and a different mm-hmm. agenda, then that's possible that we could. But oh, the agenda because he's, he's pushing, always on that gang shit. It's that's not even the is? gang shit. It's just about how he. This is just like okay, we know what you represent, so we we obviously we know who your enemies are. We, it's, you know what I mean? But well, I don't even think like what do you mean? Like, uh, cause to be honest, I don't. He's always around bloods and shit. But I feel like his only fucking enemies at this point is the fucking Hoovers, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he don't even, they're, they're Crips too, so. I personally feel like the only, his biggest enemy is himself. I feel like he's keeping himself out of, yeah. you know what I mean, a, a big bag. He could be getting a bigger bag. Greg was talking about that. Greg thinks that that he won't be relevant for much longer because of what kind of person he is. Right. and uh, Which, I mean, it could that could be true. It could not be true. I feel like... His energy, and I mean, he's just a dumb motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean, and just always on to different shit. I mean, well, I mean so I feel like there's not will. much, not much left for him to do. Yeah, I mean, he could do some shit, but I mean, I don't know. I guess they're working on movies and shit right now. Him and uh, China Mac. That's what's up, man. Well, I, you know, man, I wish them the best, man. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Like you said, speaking of energy, uh, I want to speak this, uh, switch this up, and speak upon my sponsors. One of my sponsors, Excess Energy Drink. Uh, you know what I mean? One of my business partners, we got these excess energy drinks. I want to try one. Yeah, man. Y'all, y'all feel free to, you know what I mean? Pop them up. And- Greg, yeah, we grab me a green one, buddy. Uh, uh, well, now, what are the flavors? You got every single flavor? Uh, there's different flavors, there's Greg. You can tell them. So, so every different color is a different flavor? Every color is a different flavor. There's okay. zero sugar. It's 12. 12. Uh, yeah, it's 12. You know what I mean? I, and I, I've been watching the show. I, I seen you got the vending machines. Yeah. yeah. The good talk prices out, you know I mean, off camera, though. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, let me know we for get sure. To that. Yeah, we definitely get to that. So you got the classic. Yeah, the classic. So let's see. No sugar. No sugar Zero in here. Sugar. sugar. Let me get a green one. I don't even need to read ingredients, baby. I'll pop it open. Oh, so you're getting Summit. Huh? Summit. What the fuck That's is the name summit of that? Summit up. That's what it is. Uh, you know what which one I'm going to try? I'm going to try this now, one. Root beer. How long? Uh, classic. How long you been in the energy drink business? Because I know this year. This uh, your shit, right? Yeah. The energy drink business, I want to say, yeah, uh, this is my part partnership with one of my sponsors. The energy drink business, I really just uh, got serious about the energy drink uh, probably within the last. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, what do you honest. expect? Man? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro. I was going to lie, yeah. but yeah, it's good, but it's nah, actually pretty it, good. It, listen, if I put it my It tastes like on mellow it. yellow almost, bro. He said it. Yeah, That's actually it. pretty good. That you tastes like root beer. You all want to try it? I mean, could you see yourself taking a drink with that, taking a shot? I would drink chasing this. Chasing it with that? Uh, yeah. Probably not with alcohol. With alcohol? This one's well, root beer. There's and different. See, so you got the, tri- the tropical flavors might go with alcohol, but just on the daily grind side, early morning, I get to work, good cold one. I don't know. This would probably be good with some uh, some vodka. Yeah, for sure. This is, like, really flavorful root beer. Like, this is some of the best root beer I ever had. No, you know, I, I don't even drink after people. Let me get a water for Hey, when a, when a motherfucker start reading the credits and the nutrition yeah, I'll, facts... I'll, I'll, that's how you know some shit good. You hear me? Tap in with me. Tap in with the tycoon, man. Excess energy drink. Oh, that's good. That's like um, that's like uh, yeah, like a mellow yellow sprite. This is yeah. How'd you do this? Hold on, I want to know. If it's, are you fucking with us? Nah, I'm dead serious. Uh, this is like this, this is really y'all shit. Y'all coming out with this bro, thing already? No cap. Listen, if you, this shit's actually real. This listen. Is, that's good. I'm gonna keep all the way gangster yeah, with is. you. This you know you, you know got, you got another one of these in there because yeah. this is better than that one. You like that? This one's Nah, really listen, good. this is my this is a sampler pack. So everything in there is different. We run I got sampler packs. Now, once people start figuring drink, out what they you like, you can order no, a, you can a case of your select. I don't even drink after people. I'm huh. gonna wipe your big fucking lips off of yeah, yeah, but that's also <laughs> another gift. You know what I mean? That that's you know what I mean? You're we giving us talk that? Price, that's yours. I'm taking that home. That's this yours. is actually fire. Nah, break it. Yeah. It's actually fire. Two listen, here, two here, two there. Shout yeah. out. What what's the name of it? XS Energy Drink. Shout out W Martin Associates. Lost my uh, yeah. You guys want one of those? These are actually pretty fucking fire. I'm not going to lie to you. We'll so how you did again. you get into this? This energy drink? Yeah. Well, listen, I, I have, I'm sorry about that. I, I come from a, a background of entre, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial, uh, what, how you say that? Entrepreneurs. 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 But I wanted to say like a spirit of entrepreneurs. You know oh, yeah. I mean? Yeah, like yeah me too. Of, a lot of entrepreneurs, you know yeah, what I mean? Me I've been around them. Uh, so, you know, you can say it's a get rich quick skin, you can say that, but you know what I mean? I've always seen my father, he's always had he's always had his hand in the something. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Since I've been growing up, no matter That's how mine was. However, you know what I mean? So but 
it's always been if okay if I if this ain't working this we gonna try this. So long story short, I've seen the progress of how he's been doing it for these years and stuff. You know what I mean? Building clientele. It's just like any other thing. You know what I mean? If you know what I'm saying. But long story short, I recently, you know what I mean, felt like I should get involved with it because, and it's, it's a new day and age. I know what's going on. I know the target audience, things of that nature. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like I could help. You know what I mean? It's a win-win. You know what I mean, we trying to start generational wealth. That's the thing, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you have to do that. Because, you know, I, I, my past is the streets, you know what I mean? Uh, you think you're going to get 100000 you might get 100000 this or that, but where's the, the, the bank accounts and trust funds for your children, you know what I mean? We're trying to do generational wealth, man. That's I just, All y'all out there, you know what I mean? Y'all here running around playing games. You better start stacking that cheese up, you know what I mean? Fuck out. Saving, saving, saving. If I, listen, bro, if I could have saved motherfucking just – Ten percent of the money I've spent on bummy ass friends yeah. and females. Talk about God that. damn, boy. God motherfucking damn. But what I, I'm going to get back to this real quick. Yes, sir. And because I promise you guys, we're not getting paid for none of this. Yeah, we didn't the know he was idea, bringing it. Yeah, yeah the, I, I didn't I swear to God, God we did not know he was bringing this shit. shit. I've no, never tasted taste. this. I'm gonna get it on the camera right there. You can see that. Never tasted this. Never tried this before. What I will say though is, this was such a good idea. For it to be an energy drink, if this actually gives you energy, yes. we'll see. This is what. But the flavor, I was reading yeah. it. the flavor is actually phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. I've never, never heard of a root beer energy drink, mm -mm. and that was that's like creative. Yeah. And, and there's a whole stuff. bunch of there, now, there's eleven say, also, different though, flavors. I'm gonna be pissed off because I forgot about this. I just recently quit drinking pop. So is this? What's the calories? I mean, it's zero sugar. You know, zero I mean? sugar. But is this like drinking a pop or no? No, it's not. It's not. It's nothing like drinking a pop. It's 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 healthier if you. This you know, if you want to get technical, it's, it's healthier than a Red Bull, a Monster, all of that. You know what I mean? No sugar. But this shit is actually super good, bro. Yeah. Like, like I'm not gonna lie. Excess. That shit. Classic. I didn't even like. I said I'm gonna taste all these bitches. Yeah. But this one right here, I would see no fucking problem out of that selling. Yeah, for sure. Ever. I mean, get, we got all these other flavors to try. Yeah. yeah. We got black cherry. So look, uh, another thing I want to get into. Okay, so Wildberry. While we're sitting here just talking, bullshitting, and showing shit off, you know what I mean? Uh, fuck it. Since we're just showing shit off before we get into the interview, what's this hot sauce you brought? Let me check uh, that out. Going get in that hot sauce. Okay. Well, first off, shout out my boy. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? Shout out my boy, man. Will Rob, man. Chef Will Rob, man. That's my guy, man. He's, he's actually, you know what I mean, always, he's been a mentor in my life, man, since I was a youngster, bro. And uh, for real, bro, he's, he's just always kept it, he's just always kept it 100 with me, for real. You feel what I'm saying? And he's always, he, he's helped me, he's just, he's just showed me the way a few times, man. But long story short, this is my guy, man, Will Robs, Thump Sauce. You hear me? Y'all need to get hip to this, man. Look, look, look show it to every hip. single one of the cameras. Bing, Fuck it. bong. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Bang, bang. And hit that on every angle. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, like bang, that. Bang, bang. You hear me? Yeah. I would say a lot of people now, have, have had or heard of Thump. So I've heard see, of it. I think I, I know that guy. He's the one. He got like long hair, right? Uh, Yeah. This You might know. And this is the thing. And and, and let me speak on this. When I say Will Rob is, is one of my mentors, because when I, I'm i about to drop you his credentials. He's a chef, obviously. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, He does the, uh, the Portsmouth Trojans. Shout out to the Portsmouth Trojans. He does the... uh. The play by play on that. I don't, I'm not really yeah. an athlete. What would you call that? Um, it's I don't I don't I know what you're talking Sports about. He does like the. Um, that's me, bro. Like I ain't an athlete. Let me tap in. <laughs> woo, woo. I ain't you athlete. don't think I'm an athlete, bro? He's uncoordinated. I mean, as well. he gonna look at the fat white guy like I'm, I'm not an athlete. Saying, he's he's, he's you know more in shape shit. than me and you. Bro, bro, he's, he's not. He's this motherfucker runs like this, dude. I'm so out of shape right up. now. He's yeah. fucked up. That's how listen. I am so coordinated bro oh, yeah. i'm a coordinated motherfucker i can do anything bro that's not a joke i'm not playing i can literally do any sport there is speaking of that i i, I seen you've been doing your little thing on, on back the training in the gym, back in the gym yeah, back yeah. In the gym, man. i'm in there with my brother uh tim dunn tj hensley shout out uh heather and clan combat that's where we're at every motherfucking day yes, monday through friday shout out them and i'm gonna tell you what i don't give a fuck who you are bro it is never too late to get in the gym change your fucking life i was so whenever i started the gym uh, a month and a half ago, two months ago, right. I was 445 pounds. You know how sickening that is? Dog, 445 pounds. I've been in the gym for a month and a half, bro, in there grinding my ass off, getting my fucking ass beat. My brother's done. I got my, was been training my brother for his, uh, for his fight coming up this weekend, this Saturday. Let's go, Robert. Uh -huh. But anyways, at? though, 
I'm in there, bro. Done lost 30 something pounds. You understand what I'm saying? In there, I'm in there with dogs, bro. And there were fucking dogs get my ass beat. I done had my eye black. I ain't had my eye blacked in years. Had my eye black. My brother sent my lip through my my tooth through my lip. I've been in there getting my ass beat. Right, right now, yeah. hold on. Y'all wanna see this little freaky shit? What you got going on, bro? Hold up, hold up. Size all bruised up. I just showed y'all my fat on TV because I don't give a fuck. This is all gonna be gone soon. Big body yeah. shot, bro. My brother get in there. We get in there. We Big Brody body shot. We get in there and bang. And like I said, hey, shout out Big Brody body shot. It's like uh -huh. it's never too late to get your to get your shit. You know what I mean to get your shit back together, bro? I ain't boxed in 13 years, bro. I thought so. I was going out to the bars and shit, and I was doing my little thing out there, fighting and shit, just to see if I still had it, bro. And I'm gonna tell you, it's 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 a different beast from being in from being in a street fight from. Yeah. Start anywhere from a minute for 30 seconds to a minute to being in the ring. The other yeah, day I went nine, mental. nine three minute rounds, bro. You know how long that is? How long is that? Nine. That's 20 something minutes. 27. 20, 27 minutes of straight fighting I did the other night. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? That is so crazy to think at 400 pounds I'm able to do that. And I'm going hard rounds. After we're done, I'll show you my videos, bro. Yeah. I'm going hard, hard rounds. Shout out my guy. He didn't got his oh, wind yeah. up and his friends up. Because Los Lums for in this motherfucking yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'll send you some box, box videos. You can throw them in there. And like I said, I'm in there getting my ass kicked. And I'm not even saying I'm in there doing, I'm not even the best one in the gym. I'm in there with killers, bro. I'm in there with people that are fucking beating the brakes off me. Down but you know, shit. the thing about it is, though, is there ain't no quitting me. There's been a couple times. Tim Dunn made me stop my first time sparring again after all these years. Tim Dunn made me stop. He beat the fucking piss out of me. And then uh, another time I thought about quitting. And then another time I thought about quitting. But then yeah. what I told myself was, bro, you're not a quitter. You can sit here and take this fucking ass whooping because it only hurts for the day. You know what yeah. I mean? After that, I'm fine. But what I will say, though, is, yeah, it's never too late, bro. You should come up and check it out. To come check I, it out. I encourage everybody, even if you got kids, yeah. put your kids in some type of martial for arts. Sure. For because, sure. Because, bro, the world's crazy as fuck, first yeah. of all. Kids try to bully other kids. Your yeah. kids got to be able to defend themselves. Yeah. And I think that's just a smart thing to do. Well, you so know how speaking it is, of that, the Speaking of that, speaking of that, for yeah. one, for one, before we get to that, uh, oh, yeah, Louisiana... Bottle.com Will Rob Thumb Sauce Also uh, we, He does catering You know what I mean Motivational speaking uh, Sports broadcasting Will Rob Once again we said Louisiana Bottle Dot com You know what I'm talking about So listen Now hold on Is that shit good? This right here? Open it up Yeah I mean this is your Is it hot? Yeah Like how hot? <laughs> Open it up, hit this me with something on the finger. Damn, we're gonna get in the game. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm white, white bro, so everything's hot to me. Now listen, my hot sauce from Taco Bell used to light my ass up. You yeah. hear me? I ain't even flexing up. with you. <laughs> now my favorite hot sauce right now, bro. I'm on a uh, a tapatio kick. See, I had one of my little shindigs about to fry some chicken and shit, but she was playing. I was gonna bring it so y'all could bop bop. So we're gonna do it like this, man. But this oh, is you your got a rib. You got ribs. You got ribs. Give me a rib. I got some ribs. We're, 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 we're gonna see Will Robinson right now. Yeah, Will Robinson. And I'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah, available everywhere. Facebook. Uh look at us, bro. We're just sitting here motherfucking promoting right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sir. And I get to eat on yeah. camera. And I'm I'm just saying, you know. Throw, throw a little bit on, on one of those for me. You gotta have this this the thing. Let me say this while while we getting it's into that. It's better for us to try it and yeah. be honest with everybody than rather than be like boom boom boom. So yeah. I never tried this shit before, but hey, just I'm no no it. no kids. God Nowadays damn. you need more than one income, man. And hey, I yeah, feel that. Yeah, we're about to talk about that. Yeah, for sure. Cause uh, right here, let's talk about this right quick. Toxic Tycoon brand. You know what I'm saying? Toxic Tycoon. Those right lungs for the Toxic damn. Tycoon, man. This right here. You got a link for it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we, we, right this now. is in the works. We got the, the hot sauce and the energy drinks are up and running. You know what I mean? We play some orders, everything. Get with me. Uh, Los Lungs for all social media platforms. Um, and we'll get you back to that. Like I said, the hot sauce, that's Will Rod, but I could connect you with him, but I told you the website. Energy drinks, that's us. Tap in. Toxic Tycoon's on the way. We are doing uh, specialized orders. You know what I mean? So just tap in with the Tyco, man. You show me. That, that shit's actually that shit's pretty good too. That's like um, like the kick is. Does it got like hotter flavors though? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He's he's got garlic. He got yeah, he's there's that's on the website. You go to the website. This is just the main one. You know what I mean? This kind of reminds me like uh, of a Tabasco, like a Texas Peak. Yeah. It's not it's not too hot, but it's yeah, yeah, the it's like the there. right it's like the right hot. You got a little more portion of it. motherfucking oh, ribs. <laughs> Shout out Ollie's ribs. That bitch yeah. was banging too. God Ollie, damn. Ollie, Ollie, yeah. Okay, so sure. here's here's a picture that Will took. I assume at a football game. Yeah. And he got his thump sauce up there. He's got seven different types. 
Oh, Talk that picture up. Let me see. Uh, whenever. I you know see. the garlic. The garlic. Oh yeah. Fire. Garlic what? Garlic parmesan. Uh, uh what's that? I forget this. Island name. Grove, Cayenne. There's a few different. Yeah. There's so many different. He, listen. I just started which, fucking with. Uh, you, just like the energy drinks. Started with two or three flavors. Now we got over twenty five. Uh, hot sauce started one flavor. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's we're over ten for sure. Yes, sir. So yeah, uh, if he got something like a little bit hotter than that shit, I might, I might, because the taste is there. Yeah, the taste is perfect. Yeah, the taste, the taste like, is perfect. But I just need some more kick. You yeah, know for mean? sure. That's just more or less. You know what I mean for yeah. everybody. Every no, that yeah. shit. That's good. like yeah. everybody. A kid can eat that type of shit. You know what I mean? Exactly. That shit it's is good. It's the taste is there. I just Thunk. if I'm eating mm-hmm. hot sauce, I'm expecting it to like. Kick me. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? It's good. This is so good. if you got a hotter flavor, I want to check it out. I'm I'm I'll probably buy one. Uh, yeah. But anyways, though, back to you real quick. So, all right. So almost everybody in Portsmouth knows who you are. I know who you are. I, goddamn. Tongue tied. Yeah, all right. good. I have rib in my teeth. All right. So everybody almost in Portsmouth knows who you are. I remember I was a kid and I saw you and it was like, you feel me? I grew up in Wayne Hills and I saw you over there. I don't know what you was doing. You was probably selling drugs. <laughs> but I remember I saw you and I was all like, uh, everybody was like, oh, he raps and shit. I remember I tried to talk to you and you didn't, wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no telling. Let me let me explain something to you. Bro, I was like nine, bro. You was nine. Yeah. So listen, I wasn't nine. I was probably I was, about like twelve. I was off the porch early, man, and I was into a lot of other things, man. And it probably wasn't nothing personal. It probably wasn't nothing personal. You just saw a big ass white kid running at you. You said, "Fuck, cuz." You hear me? You said, "Fuck him." That's what yeah, it was. I, I don't know because I recall. I remember y'all when y'all was younger. I remember y'all. I thought I thought you went over to that bitch with a fucked up eyes house, house, bro. She had a daughter with blonde hair, right, right there on Thomas Avenue. Avenue. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Big stings, ain't no telling, bro. We bro, gonna, listen, I'm if trying I to remember. Did, I, would, I couldn't tell you. Him, bro, I remember everybody was like, "Yeah, he raps, blah blah." Yeah. I remember I tried to talk to you because yeah, they was all out there saying you was a rapper and shit. And yeah. I, was like, I was like, "Yo," and you just walked past me. Yeah. Well, I'm listen, like, well, we came after that. You hear me here now? <laughs> hey, we here now. I don't fuck with you, though. Oh, no, it's all love. Yeah. On the Back then, when I was like 12, though, yeah. fuck you, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hear me? Oh, God. I didn't know anybody rapped. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. That was shit. <laughs> That's my guy. Now, hey, you would yeah, never, fuck with Lose, you would never know that happened. That's my man's in there, man, for real, man. But bro. So, listen, so that's what I want to get into. I want to get into uh, what made you start rapping. What was your influences growing up? Well, listen, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. R.P. my brother, man. Uh, Matt Washington, Shorty M, man, the GOAT, man. Let me say that. R.P. my brother. Uh, for real, you know what I mean? Of course, I grew up listening to music. My mom was a, was one of my main influences, though, because she kept all the latest shit, R&B, rap, all the latest shit. We listened to it, you know what I mean? But like, we grew up, you know what I mean, real family-oriented, you know what I mean? My family, other families, you know what I mean? We lived together. So we was. We, that's how we coped, we, you know what I mean? Just life and stuff it was music. Long story short, but uh, as far as the rapping, uh, Matt, my guy, Shorty M and shit, he always, he was always rapping and shit. I always be like, bro, rap, let me hear that shit, bro. Spit that shit again. Let me hear it. We we young, getting fucked up. He was like a superhero to me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, when we was younger and shit, long story short, long, he started telling me, like, you need to fuck around, like, because everybody always fucked with me and shit. They just liked, like, how me as a person, he like, bro, everybody fuck with you. You need to start rapping, like, da 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 so I start fucking around on like some hype man. They be doing shows and shit. So I'll do some hype man. I start doing my own shit. Learning we was making beats, making beats. I start doing my own shit and then I drop some shit with Matt. You know what I mean, and all the homies is like, shit, bro, that's hard. So you know what I mean. Start giving me a little confidence to go and shit like that. So I start fucking around and then, you know what I mean. Life happens. You know what I mean. People do different things and shit. Everybody went different way. I just kept going. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I just, it just grabbed me. So I'll just be fucking around, but I'll just be trying to get everybody involved at the same time. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, but so, who who was like your inspiration? Who'd you listen to growing up that you was like, man, uh, like, like what, 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 what do you, you base, base your style, style after a rap? Like, like someone you listen to growing up? Uh, so, in a way, you know what I mean? Cause you know what I mean? I, I, my shit is more versatile cause I, 
is I go I I've been listening to all er, different eras and shit like that. Like if you want to get my top listeners, my top listeners are like I base it off, you know what I mean, Jay Z. You know what I mean. This is the ones that when I'm when I'm when I'm riding and sliding, you feel what I'm saying. This is who I'm listening to that I can relate to. You know what I mean. It's, I, I listen to a Jay Z. You feel what I'm saying. Lil Wayne, of course. We could sum that up with the whole Cash Money. You know what I mean. A future. You feel what I'm saying. And then we could bring it all the way back. Of course, everybody gonna say Pac. You know what I mean. Who nope. you think was better, Pac or Biggie? Me personally, I'm gonna say Pac. It ain't got nothing to do with this or none of that. No, no. I'm gonna say Pac just because, yeah, Big was, he he was more lyrical, but Pac is what everybody is now. Wow, young. Pac was 25 when he died, you know what I mean? Pac with everybody is now tatted up, wow, this and that, fuck the world shit, which Brady Lil Wayne, you know what I mean? Shit like that, so. Pac was more of a trendsetter. That's that's the whole thing, a trendsetter to, to, to what's here now. Music wise, though, yeah. my opinion, it, it, it's all opinions. Yeah. Everybody will always have their own opinion. Yeah. There will always be Biggie and Pac. Yeah. My personal opinion, Biggie was so ahead of his time lyrical wise. He was. I love that motherfucker. He definitely yeah. was. I love some Biggie Small. I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a hard thing to pit them against each other yeah, because they're, they're, so, they're so different. Yeah, they're two That's different styles. That's the whole thing. But what I will say, I love Pac as well. I love Pac, I love Biggie. Um, I actually listened to Pac before I did Biggie. Oh, you were? You know I mean? I listened to Pac way before I listened to Biggie. Dude, oh my God. I remember I was a kid, bro, rapping, hit him up. I didn't know what it was about. I was just a little white boy in Wayne Hills running around, bro, talking about first off, fuck your bitch. You know what I mean? And, you, um... All right, fuck it. My, my bad, bro. Go ahead. You know what I mean? <laughs> I bet. But then, listen, Kelly will tell you, bro, I always cut people off. I don't have to do it on here. All right, fat fuck. Let me yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, your boy. turn, bro. But then I started listening to uh, to Biggie, and I was just like, bro, he just speaks to you. Man, what? He Biggie, just speaks. Yeah, they different. It's just about what you're going through and what you can relate to, like yeah, I said. I, I agree with that. You know what I mean? But at the same time, to, to, to round the rest of that off, you know what I mean? Like I said, Jay, you feel me? Future Wayne, Pac. You feel me? And my nigga Sada Baby, you feel me? Who? Sada Baby. Who's that? A rapper? Yeah, the Sada Baby. I don't listen to rappers so much, bro. East Side, Detroit, nigga type shit. You know him personally? No, I don't know him personally. You know what I mean? Is he a famous, famous rapper? Yeah, type shit, yeah. you feel me? I was I locked up with a couple know motherfuckers I know he is. around his way and shit, but I had got hip to him when I had first got locked up and shit. But yeah. I like more singing music, bro. I like yeah. to sing. Yeah, for sure. The, you mean, the I like melodic R&B, shit like that. Well, As I've gotten older, I do I do notice that R and B is more my my style now yeah. that I'm older. But I was gonna ask you, like out of mainstream uh-huh. rap rappers, do you have like a top five goat list? A top five goat list? Uh, for real. Me, 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 me. Side nine, nah, 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 shit. Nah, for real though. Like top five. That my I, my that might be. What I just told you for real on the low, okay. like, to, and, yeah, and then yeah. that's like, so who, that's, who, what, I that, who, that's just how I'm coming. Like, I, I got to give everybody, that's just my, what I can get in the car, and they're all different people. That's just how I'm coming listen to all them. So, like, top five, I would say that, yeah. But Some speak, of those people are so modern, though. They are. You don't put Eminem in your top five? That's what I was going to ask. Is Eminem uh, in your top ten? Listen, league? and this is this is, this is is not it ain't, this is a white thing or none of that because. Jesus Christ, no, 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 listen, because you think you know what I'm going to say. I'm not. You can't even put Eminem in the top five because, bro, he's just their own different breed. I just don't even, like, nigga, everybody knows you can name a top five and then put him on a song with every one of them in. He gonna fuck them up. So you really can't even put that nigga in the same. So you feel like he's in his own he's category? A juggernaut. I'm not saying he's the best ever either, but he's a juggernaut. Just leave him over here. And it ain't got nothing to do with being white. Because most motherfuckers would be like, oh, I can't put on a white boy. No, hell no. I'm telling you, you can't even categorize that nigga. You, you, you watch Me TikToks? personally. Who? You, you watch, watch TikToks? TikToks? In a way. I saw a TikTok. There was this black dude. You guys probably know who he is if I tell you all this. This black, black dude was, was talking, talking and was talking so much shit about Eminem. Talking about that. Uh, you can't. Uh, white people are just a guest in, uh, in hip hop, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Said that uh, Eminem can never be in the top five because he's white. Nah, hell no. They couldn't no. even be on the list because he's white. Nah, hell no. 
Eminem's in my top five. Yeah, it's just about like. I, I, listen, I'll tell you, I'm not even an Eminem fan, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You just. You, you got to give credit, credit where credit's due. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't. He a juggler. I don't, yeah, I don't bump Eminem. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, that's, that's just not my style, style of music. music. But, but is he fucking immaculate? Yes. Yeah. Can he rap? For sure. Uh, and I just, bro, and I just think that shit's weird. Like the you can't rap because you're white. That shit's nah, weird. Nah, nah, hell no, nah, shit. That's definitely a lie. Is you can't rap because you white. I mean, I bet MGK's in a lot of people's top five. Not in rap, bro. People talk so much shit, and that's another thing. A lot of people really fuck with MGK. I love MGK, bro. Anything that dude can do right there. He's so fu- What's it called? Versatile. Yo, him to what's the name? Uh, what's the bro name? Austin Pollard. I heard dude. that name. I that's the dude from around here or something. Ain't he? yeah. I heard about him. Listen, uh, bro, hard as fuck. He's from like Memphis or something. Yeah, he from around. I think he called. Yeah, yeah he's from uh, around this way or something. I gotta check it. Did he get famous or something? He got a, he got some he got some motion. He got yeah, some I heard motion. He got something that because someone was talking about he blew up. Now he got some know. motion. He got some motion. But is he rapping that, or is he, he raps? He got a vibe. I'm hip to him though. From like I get like that's what I'm trying to tell you. I get credit where it's due. White, right. black, whatever you is. Bro, hard as fuck. Yeah, you know I, don't, I, mean? I don't know him. Like yeah. I said, but I don't listen to a lot of rap. So it ain't no bias more. about white or black to me. For me, I just give yeah. credit where it's due. I don't think that. Yeah, like I said, I don't think that. And then, uh, that I don't think that that should even be a thing. Is yeah. like being a white rapper, being a black rapper. As long yeah, as your music's yeah. well, good. If your music's not ass, then I think that should really be. And and I, if you're making your own music, if you write your, own, I don't think that you should be considered a, a great artist if you don't create your own art. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, I agree with you there. Like Drake, I don't know how Drake's in anybody's top because he don't even write his own fucking music. Yeah, that nigga, listen though, right? It's just like this, right? It's like the dope games, right? Okay, this dude did not cook this dope, but the way that he met me at this family dollar behind the trailer <laughs> over here by the dumpster. Listen, you gotta be re- very careful with what you're about to say because no, 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 you got a ghost right No, because this is, no, 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 hell no. It's his, del- he delivered that motherfucker like a pro. Yeah, so and so must must might have wrote it. The way that motherfucker, yeah, dude cooked this, yeah, but the way, yeah, okay, B Dubs made the wins, but the DoorDash motherfucker, the way they got that shit to me was still the delivery. So you think, you Man, think that? But it's me okay personally, for Drake doing it, bro. Once you, yeah, because he feeds so many motherfuckers and shit like that. But this is what you do gotta understand. He ain't every, every, they ain't writing everything for the man. I don't know the nigga person. I can't really speak on that, but. Some he admit that some you know what I mean. Everybody get wrote for Beyonce all that. Me yeah. personally, I write my own shit. You feel me? I, I think, think so though that you shouldn't be. be I don't know, bro. Rap's a, rap's a different animal. Like he's mentioned yeah. Beyonce. I, I think rap's a different animal, and rap is about showcasing your personal for talent. Sure. That's, my, that's, that's, for sure. that's my opinion. For sure. Yeah. If you're tell, tell me right now, now, if you start, if you start rapping right now, bro, and you rap me uh uh let's say a Biggie small song, I could. So if you write me a Biggie small song and be like, is that fire or not? I'm like, it's a badass Biggie song. Yeah. <laughs> right. You understand what I'm saying? Facts. No matter how good you delivered it, Facts. I'm not going to be like, oh, now it's now it's a low song. You understand what I'm saying? Now it's a badass low song. I feel what you're saying, though, because the, in, the industry is, is different. Yeah. Like, we don't have any idea. This, how this is all I'm saying. Right, right. This, but as an artist, you feel what I'm saying? I haven't been in the lab with motherfuckers. And that, and they like they, they give, give you some, some advice. advice. They, yeah. No, no, that too. But even I, even I'm in there working with somebody, nigga, and they rap the shit, right? Like ah, da 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 da, energy drinks, nigga, he stinks. Ah, da, da, da. Like you feel me or nigga, hot sauce. That's so like a drop shot, off. Buddy. He said energy drinks. Nah, and nigga, I'm rhyming. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. This nigga crazy. <laughs> nah, real shit though, right? And it's like okay, this shit rhymes. Yeah. But damn, okay, then he get in the booth and it's like. I, I, it's, you got to know how to deliver that shit. That's also a gift. You know what I mean? Yeah, I that's agree. what I'm saying. That's, what that's I'm saying. a gift. Just even like this right here, this podcast uh-huh. shit, this is a gift that y'all are able to sit here and talk. And Everybody can't do this shit. You got to have the gift of that. Yeah. So everybody don't have... I'm not saying... So if a motherfucker like, listen, Drake, I got a hot ass song, but I just ain't that type of nigga. So, you got this for here. Boom. I respect that. The art of it. It's an I, art. I respect anybody getting... I respect, I respect, like I said, I respect Drake. Drake. Yeah, right. Can I put him in my top. top? Fuck no. Well, this is what I'm gonna tell you right now. Me personally, uh, Los Lunds for on all platforms. You know what I mean? I am here. This is what uh, Grams Inc. Let me talk about this right. If you, if you don't mind, Grams Inc. Get rich and maintain success. Grams Inc. You feel me? So we got a little. Ink the little distri- uh, digital distribution deal with Empire, the Empire, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, so this is the thing with that, right? It's 
we don't the promotion part of, the, of it. We don't. I'm not receiving yet. But when I was uh, I had got uh, I was got out. I was incarcerated. Long story short, got out and had some emails. People where I was at, checking out my videos, music. You got to be chosen for this. That's basically what I'm saying. So they hollered at me. We got the digital distribution deal, Grams Inc. You know what I mean? So that's what we doing. We on all platforms. Uh, just dropped a video. Y'all seen that? Matter of fact, shout out to y'all. That Montana 300. That 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 y'all. That, that was free, this, right? Yeah, that free shit. Yeah, free featuring party shot down there? Yeah, yep. that was big for the for the city. You know what I mean? That's why y'all get gifts because the motherfucker really respect what y'all got going on. Thank, Thank you, but I think we fucked, fucked up with that show. show. What you mean? I think we did it at the wrong time. I think we should have waited. Until college was back. Until college was back. Nah. nah. We're in a university. Don now. D, listen, Don D hit me up. Not when college up. comes back, pop off. Yeah, Don D hit me up. And uh, wanting, uh, wanting us to put on the show for him. But I was all like, I, we could do it, but it's just like. We got to have better security. Yeah, because people were sneaking in. That was the biggest issue. For some. Dude, for some reason, these motherfuckers let me sit up there and get super fucked up. You said you set up there and got super fucked up. But you know I can't be. You saw me all, the whole time but running around. I can't be left working. unattended, bro. Because I. I, I appreciate y'all having that because without that, Los Lunes for a feature party on Mars free on YouTube. Video just dropped. Shout out, shout out to Jams World. Jams World TV. Good, Jams no video. jelly, nigga. Fuck niggas gonna tell me, nigga. Nah, for real though. If y'all ain't had that show, we wouldn't have had that video pop off. Like that was just. You know what I mean, God don't make no mistakes. You got uh, that, that was the video, video like that was the video y'all shot down there. Yeah. That got pretty good views on it, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably went up like, uh, real quick about two thousand like a week, something like. Yeah, yeah. I, mean? I saw, no, I saw no when it first got posted. I was like, I said, okay, he got yeah. he got some views up yeah. quick. Yeah, we got some. Uh, I had fun that night. Yeah, and, and then speaking of the Graham Zinc, hey, shout out my youngster, Mark Sosa. You feel me? The first Graham Zinc official Graham Zinc artist. You feel me? Uh, check out that more social man. That, so that's your shit, shit? Grams Inc. Yeah. 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 So like right now, you you go to YouTube, type in Los Lunch Fool. Mm -hmm. All my videos will pop up. Under that. that. Yeah. No. Type you type in Los Lunch Fool, right? You'll go on there. Uh, Cause you remember I got that video. Uh, R. P. My brother Timmy Vance. That bloody tears. It's on the Eminem beat, right? Yep. You'll look on that and it'll say licensed. Shady after math. Da 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 da. So boom. Then you play that. This point. At this point. Y'all know what that is at this point. You know what I'm talking about? That was probably your biggest, wasn't it? It's more, I got my biggest view wise was that play that. You feel me? Okay. Shout out KB Films. Uh, view wise was play that, but the as far as the re, the streets, that 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 it was this catchy, point, it was catchy as fuck. Yeah, it's, that's his. That's what, that's what that's a, I think that right there. Yeah. That's how a lot of people. That's how they, a lot of motherfuckers know me up there at this point. Yeah, you get, you, get, you get in, you find something real fucking catchy, bro, that, yeah. like, that gets stuck in somebody's head, yeah. and, and it's over with. Like, yeah. There's this song that I think is garbage, uh -huh. but I keep on listening to it. Uh -huh. It's, uh, what's it called, Pop Out? I d don't, didn't even remember listening to it. I was drunk, got drunk last weekend. It's uh, by Polo G. Lay a lazy, bro. I yeah, I've never heard that song until that. last weekend, bro. I woke up, never heard this song in my life. Woke, woke up, up singing it. So I guess I was listening to it at the bar. That's some, the shit you let me hear where the hook saying, is. The hook yeah, is like the, the, amazing. The hook goes on like that. You pop out at your party. Yeah. I'm with the gang. It's going to be a robbery. Oh, so it's not your chain. And I was like, I kept on singing that, bro. And I was all like, where the fuck did I hear this at? <laughs> and then I actually listened to it, bro. And I was like, this song is garbage. But the hook was crazy. <laughs> but I've listened to it like 30 fucking times since then. Well, so that's what I'm saying. Like, you get... If you, I feel like you get something though, bro. That motherfuckers just love and just repeat. They're gonna keep listening to it. Yeah. And at and at this point, when I first listened to that, bro, that's all I kept on saying is this point. Yeah. I think I even said that to you one time in my house. Yeah. Everybody, party. Everybody, listen, I ain't gonna beat you everywhere I go. Like they like at so, this point. Whenever you're at, whenever you're out, whenever you're out. Yeah. Do motherfuckers come up to you and like talk to you about music and shit? Cause whenever I'm out, people be coming up to me talking about the podcast and they shit. They do. See, yeah, I, that shit I, feels good, don't it? Yeah, it do. You know what I mean? It, when it count, you know what I mean? Like, from the motherfuckers you know genuine, hell yeah, that shit means something, you feel me? Like, like motherfuckers, like, so I get messages all the time. Uh -huh. People, like, wanting to meet me. Like, people, like, like, hey, I got all your videos saved. I watch every single one of your yeah. videos. So, like, whenever, say you're out, like, what, what's been, have you had, like, a crazy experience being yeah, out with motherfuckers? This, the the, the thing I get the most is, bro, bro, I've been watching your shit, bro, with your email. Let me send you. Like, listen, all right, send me. But it's just like, hold on. That was Friday, Saturday. Same motherfucker. Bro, 
I got some shit. Which, like, hold on, man. How many times you want a fucking hand check? Yeah. Now, that's a different. It's between a motherfucker respecting your craft and then a motherfucker is just Dick on some weird shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a lot of... I'm not... I, I enjoy... I'm not gonna flex. I enjoy the the dick riders. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. I do, cause that shit, bro. Whenever, I, especially if I'm fucked up, you know me. Whenever I'm fucked I'll up, I just be in a whole different world. Factual. So if I'm super fucked up like that, Struck bro. Money, and them motherfuckers, that. yeah. Oh, makes, makes me feel good. <laughs> you hear me? Make me feel ten foot tall. But I love that shit yeah. though. Uh, yeah. So, so you just like, I don't know, bro. Like, what do you like? What do you what do you want to do? Like, what's your plans with music? This is my thing right here with this music shit, right? Because, like I said. Me when I was when I was when I was start first start doing this shit, yeah they was motherfuckers was like oh da da, but like as far as the resources that that motherfuckers was having, like you know what I mean I'm tapped in with the top motherfucking video men in Ohio, like shout out KB Films man and Jams World TV man, but like just having resources trying to have a motherfucker on the same platform as you, like you know what I mean so like shout out my youngster Mark Sosa, we just did that. That Rich Homie show last weekend. Yeah, Shout out DJ Sounds Good. Uh, my nigga, uh, Tony, Tony Petroni, you know what I mean? Irons and what's bracken? Uh, RP Trap, too, let's say that. So look, we out there with them and Irons last week doing that. Got my youngster, Mark Sosa, up there with me. Shout out Mark Sosa, you feel me? We got the uh, Wolves of Wall Street on the way, or the Wolves of Waller Street on the way, man. Graham's Inc. compilation, Wolves of Waller Street. Yeah, it's about to that's, drop. I, I like that. I like that's that. clever. Wolf of Waller Street. That's yeah, yeah, man. That's for the hood, though. Yeah. So, so, boom. That's what we doing for the city like y'all is. Yeah. Man, man, I'm going to get off that. So, boom. I'm just trying to get the youth involved as much as possible to let them know, like, yeah, people will motivate you, but, bro, you got to believe in yourself. Motherfuckers don't believe in themselves, bro. It's yeah. sad. Well, it's well, because everybody around here don't support each other. Yeah. I think, I think if everybody around, because everybody around here is secret haters. Bro. So I feel like, bro, because you know how it's so easy to give a like and a share on Facebook. Yeah. And right. all you got to do is share that. Then then, so, then, then you got all these other people to see yeah. it. And one, one of them people, people might share it. Yeah. And, and then, then eventually it might get into the right hands. So I feel like that's the problem. Because there is a lot of talented people around here. It is. The, the problem, problem is, is, though, everybody in Portsmouth just either wants to be it yeah. or they want to be like, all right, if I can't do nothing with my life, I don't want you to do nothing with nah, your life. And that's just yeah. super that shit's corny, whack as That was fuck. prophetic, bro. Super yeah. yeah, that was some player shit. But no, nah, like on some real yeah, shit, though. Spoken. And that's how it is. And Lil, I fuck with him. Who? Marsosa? Yeah. that's yeah. What I, I met him years ago, way before he even rapped. Yeah. I'm talking about back when he was like 16, I met him. Uh, with, yeah, with my little dude, uh, yeah. Josh. And I've been fucking with him forever. And he, he for this, uh, that's why I, I fuck with him. I saw him the other bro. day, actually. I saw him at the liquor store the other day. Yeah. He was talking about He you. from that. That's that's little bro. Like I said, like, he got his own little shit going on. But it's just basically like, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I've, I've tried to, you know what I mean, help certain like, other people out and shit like that. And it was like, okay, boom. Like, I don't motherfuckers think I'm pressing them too much. Nah, I'm really just believing motherfuckers. I want. I wish. I'm, so I'm doing what I wish a motherfucker would have did for me. So that, that's what I was about to get in and ask you. Yeah. So. You're obviously still making music. Yeah. But what are you more focused on? Listen, are you more man. focused on doing your own thing? Focus or on this your... Grams Inc. shit. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so you, yeah. got, you got your own like, This is right? my thing. Yeah, Grams Inc. Slash, you, like I said, you look the videos up. Hey, look at this point up. It's, it, the license part of it say Grams Inc. Slash GT, or Empire Slash Grams Inc. <laughs> slash GT Digital. Hey, I'll tell you what about the hospital. Got him. A little yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> Every other second, yeah, I've been feeling it. Every time I get something out of my teeth, I feel it in the back of my throat. You know what that? It does have a little bit of spice to it, but it's not like crazy. It's I good. feel like it's good hot sauce for everybody. Yeah, it's good hot sauce. I want to try all of them though. I'm gonna have wanna, to get on there, wanna, huh? Now that's your. But now, uh, yeah, I keep on feeling it every time I get something out of my teeth. But what I was gonna say though, so you're building your own label. My so, thing is, yeah. But look, check this out. So you're building your own label. What I'm trying to get at? Are you gonna just Put all your most of your time into these artists and try to push them because you're talking yeah. about uh, what's it called opera, opera. entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about that. So you building your own label. This one, that's, and that right there, there's so much more you can do with shit. Yeah, so this that's my like thing. Steve, back to Stephen Cooper. Stephen Cooper not only does he rap, huh. he has his own label, Fact. and that's all you're doing is bringing in. And you blow this person up, you're bringing yeah. in more revenue for yourself. Yeah. And you're just doing you're doing so much more yeah. shit. So that's smarter you. A lot of people don't think about being smart. Yes, yeah. People just think about okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, you you got to think of every angle, and that's smart. Angles. Listen, I'm trying to tell you right now, you gotta have more than one in or uh, income. To flat the fuck out. My mother, like mandatory. 
You mean to tell me you got two Instagrams and one income? That's what the that's what's wrong with the world. Motherfuckers got two, three Instagrams, one income. That's why they're fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I, I love the entrepreneurial They worry shit. about followers, not dollars. So this is all I'm saying as far as with the music shit. Like, like I said, at this point, we talking about certain little shit. I got a little motion. I got the connections. I got the platforms. So boom, hell yeah, I'm trying to sit back on some CEO shit. Like, the, the music cool, I like this shit. You feel me? I got a little way from it, but all that, I ain't really with all that. Like I said, I told you, I started as a hype man. Fucking with my nigga Shorty. You feel me? So I ain't really, I know how to do this shit. I know how to perform. I know how to put on. I know how to do that, produce music, all that. But I'm more on the business aspect of this shit. What motherfuckers lack. I want to touch on that for just a second because you're, at, at, our, at the show we put on, you're one of the few acts that I actually had time to watch. Mm -hmm. your, stage, your stage presence was top tier. Like, I, go ahead. I, I was, I was, uh, I hadn't got to watch a rap show in forever, right? And um, I didn't get to watch very many acts perform that night because I was so busy. But the way that you performed, I could tell it was like you you weren't in there just having a good time. You were in there working. So we go. And I was impressed. I, I really was. Yeah. I was like, you could watch. Like It was like you were calculated. For sure. And I like that. And I think that I wanted to back up for just a second and and go back to kind of what you're doing with the entrepreneurial side of things and how it relates to the streets. Because I feel like there's a, there's a very uh, parallel line where, where that becomes like, okay, did this, let's go here. And I feel like that's something that you could potentially teach people who are in the streets right now. That's yeah. And I, I feel like that's something you could speak on. And then even like what you said, like I'm trying to, the ones that's in the streets and swear, cause you know what I mean? If you know me, you know me. Like, I got a past and shit like that. I done did all that. And I don't brag on that shit. I don't have to. I ain't, and I done did my time. I ain't never told on nobody. I still got my name. And I'm out the game. You feel me? So I won. You feel me? So long story short, with that being said, I'm trying to tell these little youngsters, like, this is, this is where we need to go. You feel what I'm saying? Like you said, calculate this and that. We not playing. We were going to get this shit done. I'm coming in there. I'm trying to do this. And get y'all in the door. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I done been there. It's just like, like you said, the streets. All right, boom, you got the, you started out hustling. Serving pieces on the block, da, da, da. Then you get your sack up. Now you the big dog, right? You got the plug. All right, so now you got to get these little homies on. Then you go through the ones that don't listen. They fucking ain't money up. But you find that one who really on this shit. You feel me? And that was me when I did my little street shit. I was that one. But long story short, you find that one, it's just like with the music. He really on this shit, he's serious. So boom, all right, I'm going to give you my mic. You feel me? Like the recipe. I'm going to let you. We're going to set up. We're going to work. Like, you feel me? Because you're really hungry. You're getting your money. So that's the same vibe. All right, I didn't got my bag up. All right, I didn't got my views up. I didn't got my connections up. Huh. I done told you. Let's get this money together. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we on, bro. You feel me? Yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I think that, um, unfortunately, for a lot of people, that's the way it has to be. Some people aren't uh, don't have a silver spoon. Some people aren't exactly. handed wealth. Yeah. Some people can't get a million exactly. dollar loan from their daddy. Exactly. So uh, I, I like that shit. You gotta I, get I mean, and and I like it when it happens the right way. Yeah. It's just um, it's very seldom that it happens the right way. Exactly. And that's something that I feel like you speaking on being somebody who who can. Speak to people. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. Motherfuckers I know like what I uh, they know. They gonna. They, it's believable. Mm -hmm. It's believable. And then I mean, I, you came in here with energy drinks. That's your own company. Where your yeah. company that you you're partnered yeah. in. You know what I mean? Like Toxic that's tycoons. Uh, and you got your your clothing. Like, Toxic tycoons, man. There's a lot of shit going on. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to constantly like be shit. on different shit. Man, and that's, that's where we fuck up. Yeah. We fuck up on that shit. shit. And I I think it's crazy because like we got right now we got a okay platform. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why are we still not selling merch? That's why. What, uh, that's my. That's well. That's, that's this is this. We 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 listen. Sometimes people slack, there ain't no instructions mean? to this shit though. Like like I said, I ain't had no instructions. I had to go through all this shit so we could make a playbook for the new motherfuckers. Y'all gonna have y'all y'all making a playbook like boom sponsorship. Yeah, sponsored by X. We coming like that next one. Yeah, we about to get a sponsorship going now. We're, we're definitely going to talk yeah. about about. Uh, yeah. As I said off camera, we are gonna get in there. I seen. I'm watching the show. Uh, what's up, girl? Ali 
Bayardo. Bayardo. That's my dog. Yeah. That's I thought my it was dog. Bayardo. Nah, for real. Bayardo. I fuck with Shout out Bay cool. Grill. Uh, yeah, she's, she's cool. But nah, for real though, I seen that shit. And oh, you said what? Yeah, so hey, cut that. We're back in right now. But anyways, though, uh, yeah, Ali Bernardo, she cool as fuck, right? Oh my mother, you know that shit was a good show though. I watched that whole motherfucker though, like for real. Just gotta get a thumbs up, down. The thump sauce. Oh, bro. fire! Oh, he, that shit is yeah, fire. Hey, anyways, though, yeah, bro, yeah, she, uh, yeah, the thumb sauce is fire. Yeah, that was a good show though. But like I said, you know, we just trying to get the <laughs> youth involved. All over the place, man. So we ain't know we just trying to get the <laughs> youth involved. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. who around here? Is he the is so Marmar? That's what I know him by Marmar. Marmar, yeah. So you know what I'm saying, yeah, I, I didn't know his rap name. I didn't know he rapped until Mar Sosa. I saw him uh, out front of the uh, Dirties one night. Yeah, he pulled up on a scooter, bro, like one of them. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about one of them city scooters. Yeah, see, listen, I, I, you know what I mean. As I was a youngster growing up, I watched him grow up. You feel me? I'm saying, I know his parents. I know, I know his whole family. It's my, that, yeah. We he down in like family, like, but no, I, I mean, respect. I, he, I, I met him. He was running with my little, my little fuzz, my little cousin. Hey, free spaz, man. He crip crazy. Free spaz, man. But, but uh, what I was saying though is, that's who I'm heathen. fucking with. That's the only guy right now. You're nah, fucking with? listen. I, I got, I got a younger little homie. Hey, that you ain't gonna mention right now, huh? You ain't gonna mention. Yeah, him? yeah. I'm about to mention little Metro, man. Little Metro, man. He in high. He, he, he a freshman. We gonna get to that though. We got some shit coming, man. He from Portsmouth. Yeah, man. Little so Metro. that's another thing. Are you only gonna fuck with people from Portsmouth? Nah, hell no. Nah. I be networking, bro. I got man. I got family in Columbus. I got. I've been for real though. I've been trying to get the little fe uh, female from around here to go, but motherfuckers is playing. I was trying to do this shit two years ago. I go do some time, come home. It's all female bitches. Y'all was playing around here. But anyway. We gonna get that going, but I got a little female. I ain't gonna say her name. I've been fucking with Columbus and shit on the music side. Yeah. We about to get some shit going, but I'm just trying to get the whole hood involved if we could. Shout out Party on Mars. You feel me? Bad News, the gang, Ace and them, YGM, all them niggas, man. You feel me? Niggas been doing their shit around here. Yeah, I think that the the music scene right now is probably probably the biggest that it's been around here and you know what to be honest yeah. i was so out of tune with music from around here Facts. for the longest time because we ain't been a part of the music scene for a long time so we just wasn't in tune with none of it and then when we started setting up that show and shit just getting nice. back into it yeah. that's yeah. whenever you mean we start listening to shit and i actually heard something the other day from some white boys and dog it Ooh. was not bad I don't know. I don't know where they're from. They're on my Facebook, so I don't know if maybe they performed at the show. Hey, that's but what I'm on. Like, there's some white boys though from like I don't know, from maybe Arlington. Listen, and their shit was actually. Let fired me say this right now. Anybody you know, what I mean, in surrounding areas, if if y'all trying to do some some business on the collaboration side, it gotta make sense. If we, we gotta be coming sounding sounding like water, the, the audio, the mixing master gotta be crazy. I got the people for that. Videos, it gotta make sense, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what we on. We making shit make sense right now, like period. And then with y'all, like y'all, y'all should start getting more involved with the music scene right around here. But I understand, motherfuckers gotta be. It gotta make sense. Yeah. Well, see, I think with the music scene around here. Yeah. So we've been, we've been knocking out so many rappers around here. I think with after you, we're gonna take a break from them. Yeah. Because, well, I feel like we've done them. We've yeah, done. We, we've done. We've done most of them, and it's not. Like, okay, so right now it's to the point that we've done so many rappers around yeah. here. I just want to have fun and, and get back to the main shit. Get back to yeah. us. You feel me? When yeah. we got motherfuckers on here, like, we'll have people on here. And sometimes I'll forget what we're on here talking to you about because I just want to have fun and talk. And, and I'm you glad. Me? Let me speak on that. Notice how he said he forgot what he was on here talking to me about because, yes, I am rapping artists, stuff like that. But. We also come in Toxic Tycoon brand. We come in Excess Energy Drink. Holla you with the Will Rob Thump Sauce. You feel what I'm saying? So it's creating longevity. Like, yeah, I'm on here Los Lungs for right now, but I might double back as the CEO of Grams Inc. I might double back as a partner on Thump. I might double back as the CEO of Ex So that's what we're saying. Like, you got to really get out here and establish a few different lanes for yourself. And I respect what y'all saying. Like, yeah, we got to take it at a different angle. Hell yeah. And I'm going to be at every angle. You feel what I'm saying? I want, see, what I want to do is I want to have a comedian on. Yeah. I want to have someone that's going to come on, bro, and I just want to laugh and, you know I mean, maybe might even smoke a little little marijuana or something. You want to hit this? Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> 
I'm positive, buddy. You you ain't going to be in here making me laugh. I'm talking about I want you to crack jokes at me, and you're not going to do that. I want to have a magician. I've been, but we want to do all that weird shit, bro. Because that type of shit, bro, is just I want to be fascinated. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. I want you to say something that's going to hurt my feelings, but make me laugh at the same time. You feel me? I want you to show me shit that like is just gonna blow my mind. And I feel like we've been so focused on rappers lately, like even with big name rappers, yeah. uh, the little the little yeah. world artists, up and coming ones. It's like we've done so many of them that right now it's all like, I want a motherfucker just to like blow my mind. Mike Brumfield, I want a Mike Brumfield, but a good one. You understand what I'm saying? Because I can say it now that because this podcast coming after that one, I'm sorry for those that watch that one. Mike Brumfield was tripping. This, this motherfucker right here? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, he, dog. What are spirits and why is alien evidence ignored? We Heaven didn't even talk is about my aliens. throne. Earth is a footstool. Get this nigga the fuck out of here. Bro, my guy, listen. You don't even he, know. He, he we was here. fucked I don't up. trust him. We bro, listen. So fucked I don't trust him. This motherfucker days. was in here. <laughs> this motherfucker was in here for two hours, bro, talking about fuck God. Okay. Mm, then at the end, mm, at the end, mm, at the end of the podcast, what do he say? So the only way is God. Mm. He said the only way. I didn't know if he believed in God or didn't. Bro, I was confused the whole time. I was like, bro, he said so much wild shit, bro. Mm, mm. Then he told us that we was all dead. Oh yeah, we. Was, I thought all, he was gonna kill we're us. We're dead right now. Bro, he like, said this. Listen, if I say it's, say it's your studio, right? You're mm. in Greg's show. I come in here, crazy ass white man. There's holes in my shirt. I'm wearing cowboy boots. Yeah, right take there, a look at him right, right there. Now. You just. Right there, you're just like, okay, he's iffy. Yeah, we're we'll going to take a look then at Then the motherfucker right says this. I was going to bring a revolver with one bullet. What the fuck's that even mean? I thought he was going to kill himself on our show. I, for that, you know, we'd have went viral. Man, what? <laughs> we'd have <laughs> been so viral. We'd, we'd have went, been Logan right Paul now, all over. Right there. But that, yeah, and we'd have back on here and record an angle. To. But listen, look, so what type of shit, so beside all that shit, I want to yeah. know about you. What type of shit you like, bro? You like you like comedies? Yeah, I want to know that. What 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 do you give a fuck about? Yeah, like you. Besides, but not I know that you love your, your kids yeah, and shit. Yeah, for sure. I'm talking about what makes. What do you do? Like, what makes you happy? Do you watch like comedy shows? What's up, buddy? Uh, let me see for real. I, I do. If I'm going to watch some shit, it's going to be some comedy shit. I don't really. But me personally, like I I do learning. Like I don't even really watch movies like that. I do documentary. That's why I, people I read watch. books. Oh, you be reading? I read books, you books? know what I mean? I'm more of like a, I don't do, like, I, I, I like nonfiction. So you probably read because of jail, though. That's, yeah. You know what I mean? I've been incarcerated a few times. I ain't going to lie, before jail, I wasn't in big in the books, but yeah. I start going to jail and prison. I'm here, a lot of people say that. A lot of people say yeah. that they start reading because of jail. You do. Yeah. But then it's just like, what do you read? Do you read the hood books? Do you read the, the fake shit? Mm -hmm. People do. And then you get lost in the sauce and you think that shit real and come home and do the same dumb ass shit. I be reading that brain food, you know what I mean? That shit that gets you where you need to go. But I don't you read. gotta go through it to get to it. Who's your, know that. Go ahead. I don't read, but I, I I listen to a lot of shit. I really give a fuck about like financial shit. I give a fuck about politics. I give a fuck about stuff that's going further. Like, just shit that's going to interest me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit that's more interesting than just shit I've already seen. What? You know what I mean? I want to yeah. know shit that's outside of my scope. Some shit I, I can make that, some money with. Some shit I can feed my yeah, kids that with. That also comes with uh, age. I feel like when it, once you start aging, because yeah. when I was young, I didn't give a fuck about shit like that. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck. But now I'm getting older, bro. I'm 27 yeah. now. Yeah. A dad of two. Yeah. You feel me? Now I'm starting to get more into... All the okay, I want to know about more shit. I want to know about you know I mean who's running our fucking country and all right. that little weird shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I think it's just different, bro. It's all about growing up. Cause as a young cat, you know, you all know how it is. You feel me? Yeah. We all we all grew up. You know what I mean in the streets. You know what I mean even though people think that uh, Ricky Yellum didn't boy Wayne Hills. You hear me? Yeah, shout I was out Wayne here. Hills, man. But uh, oh, East End, baby. My fucking, oh, we bro like. What was I getting? I got ADHD. You, from the hills, they think you ain't no street nigga. They think you ain't no street nigga. Growing up in the streets, though, they like, I was like, the only thing ever on my mind, bro, was drinking yeah. and fucking. Yeah. And, and now money. that I'm older, See? though, yeah. now that I'm older, now I'm all money, like, but the wrong yeah. way. Yeah. Now I'm all like, uh, I want to make money, yeah. set up a future for my kids. Yeah. I'm worried about motherfucking getting like a housewife. Yeah, money, the yeah. right the right bitch though, bro. Cause you know bitches out here ain't shit. Listen, man. You gotta find the right bitches one. ain't shit, man. At all. Let me tell is you something. Any, hold, is there one bitch you can say right now at every at every camera that ain't shit? 
Tell us <laughs> I, I Listen, I ain't going to put a name on it because I don't want to put no God, fame on it, you bitches. Yeah. But let me tell you something. The most of you bitches is miserable. Just know you're invisible because I don't see none of you goddamn bitches. You know what I'm talking about? Do you think that women <laughs> are miserable because of the way that society is now? And like if they would just Pound let a time. man be a man? Like if they would let the man be the man, that yeah. they would be less miserable? Yeah, because listen, Eric, you got to think. All these females, they want to be harder than you. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, you can smoke a black and mild. That's pushing it. <laughs> but Shut the fuck up. Nah, for real. You can smoke a black and mild. That's pushing it. But come on, bro. You drinking more than me. Yeah. You thugged out more than me. You gang gang more than me. You got you got more bodies than me. That, yeah, that's nasty. You 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 bitches is lost, bro. If I'm beating up a bitch, I don't want her to hit me back. Man, what? And me as a man, I got three daughters. I'm raising girls, bro. I can't raise my children around none of these girls. Some, yeah, some ratchet ass bitches. You know what I mean? They and I'm not gonna. They might have an honor to or a, whatever people they might, <laughs> whatever. Like, okay, y'all see that, but I make sure that I bring them, around, I, I bring them around respectable women, where they can get morals and values. That's what's wrong with the world. No morals. Listen, and values. someone told me this the other day. Someone told me they said, "Are you ever?" They asked me. They said, "Are you ever afraid?" Because my oldest daughter is about to be nine. They said, "Are you ever afraid that your daughter is going to see how you are with women and uh, regret that your daughter has to see the way you act?" Because the the the, the person told me, I don't remember who it was, they said that, that daughters tend to chase after men that are like their dad. Like their dad, yeah. Whoever asked you that, that's a good fucking question. And yeah. it really made me realize, bro, that this, the next one has, I want the next one to be the last one. I want a wife. Yeah. I'm about, yeah. Like I said, I'm about to be 30 years old, and I, like you just said, I don't yeah. want some ratchet ass females teaching my kids all the wrong shit. Because yeah. I try my hardest to teach my kids good shit. I try to keep my kids, I try to make them have great manners, all that shit. As like my should, kids are, as you should. I made sure my kids didn't grow up the way I did. You understand Facts. what I'm saying? Like I grew up, bro, and I was a piece of shit. I'll never lie about that, bro. Yeah. Like I was a I was a bad kid, bro. No one liked me. I mean, mo the people that liked people liked me, you know what I mean? But it was like all the older cats, you mean, didn't like me. Greg, they you like didn't like me, me walking past you and shit. Yeah, yeah. like Greg didn't like me when I was a kid neither, bro. I I had choke him up one time when I was a kid. Yoke yeah. his little ass up. Greg, what do you I was little back but, then, uh, bro. Motherfucking. So, but yeah, like I was saying though, I, I don't want my kids to see me out here just with a bunch of different women. Hell I want no. my daughter. I want my daughters to know like, hey, I do want to. I do want to. If I'm a dated man, yeah. I want it to be like my dad. So I've been trying to respect bitches more. I've been trying not to As be you called should. bitches. See, this is my thing, like, cause you know what I mean. Speaking of that, like my oldest, shout out to Carly. Well, you feel what I'm saying she, she, how old she, is she? She 14, bro. She's I started old, early. That's yeah, the I started age. early. She's just she in high a 21 school. year old. Super early. 20, she about to be 21. Super earlier, but uh, we get to that. No story short, though, she didn't seem. That's like, she was my best friend. You feel me? Like, when I wasn't in no relationship, so the only female presence was besides my mother and sister, like, my daughter. Yeah. So, like, she didn't seem, like, long story short, open doors, this and that. I teach her, you know what I mean, gives flowers, stuff like, teach her how she's supposed to be treated on top of, she might have seen me ups and downs with different females, but she knows the difference, bro. Like, you just got to give them that game. If you got girls, give them that raw. Don't lie to them. I feel you know that 100%. I mean? to, the, to the young girls out here, I'm telling you right now, the youngsters only want one thing. These young boys only want one thing. And it's not your cash app tag. You hear me? <laughs> it's a different type of spin, dog. No, but I feel like me and, my, me and my oldest daughter, we grew up together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just grew up. Saying. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. even know if I'm grown yet. I'm a different person than I was a year ago. Exactly. Yeah, I, that's why I try to tell my kids, you're all, everybody's changing all every the time. Day. You change every, every day. I'm not the same person I was a year ago, to two years ago, to yesterday. three years ago. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like um, it's important for young people to realize that that's going to happen. Now, I feel like you don't think about that when you're young. If, yeah. and even if somebody's telling you, yeah. you still don't really. People think by the time you're 18, you're supposed to have, supposed to have your life figured out, and you're not. Stop worrying about that type of shit. You yeah. got to stop worrying about that. Dude, shit's going to happen. Shit's going to happen. Let it play out. And really, and I'm going to say this. This is going to sound corny as fuck. But really, at the end of the day, never give up. Because you got a lot of motherfuckers out here no, killing, killing themselves, up, doing all this wild ass shit. They're Listen. resorting to drugs because they think that they, their life 
ain't playing out the way, the way they want it, so motherfuckers get depressed and shit. I'm gonna tell you, but you gotta right let now. that shit play out. A lot of motherfuckers don't start blowing up until they're a little bit older. Don't fucking give up, you know my niggas. You got you got to keep pushing, Love, no matter what, because anything in this world can happen, bro. All it takes is that one right person to hear something. It don't matter if you make music, do a yeah. podcast. If you're just out here, just you, you, man. This girl got me happy, bro. Changed my life. You see this? Yeah, yeah I like it. I love it. You glowing? Yeah. I ain't yeah, seen you good. like this in a minute. That's what I said. Yeah. That's what everybody said. This I ain't is, look at it. Hey, he I ain't seen you like this. I ain't even wanted to drink bro. this weekend. She said, "Can we hey, kick shot, it?" In the, she hey, was listen. like, "We kick it in the house." I said, "Let's kick it in the house." Shout out, baby girl, Neil. Got bro over here blushing like that. You know what I mean? You doing your thing, girl? You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> hey, for real though, like I'm really like I'm really thinking about shit different though, bro. Because yeah, like you should. I, like I said, I'm 27. I'm gonna be 30 in three years. Yeah. Dog, I just it's time to buckle down. Health and wealth, that's all I want. It's a fact. I'm ready to get myself better, get myself good, our podcast blow up, yeah. and then fuck, we might take a few motherfuckers with us, do you that's mean? That's my whole thing. Like, bro, like, that's all it is, bro, because once you're on- You gotta, and it's about it's unity, bro, and genuine shit, bro, yeah. because- And that's that's another thing. I want to fuck with people that are, that are genuine. Yeah, I don't like yeah. fucking with people just because they'll be all like, oh, well, they can come on, we can come on their podcast, yeah. and we'll get their little- uh, however many followers Spin we got and shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. Hell I don't want to do that. I want to link up with people that I'm like, okay, so when we leave here and I see you out, we're cool. Yeah, oh mama. You know what I'm saying? If I sure. see you out, we're gonna have a conversation after this. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of these motherfuckers, they come in here. If I see them out, it's like you feel me, just like what's up type shit. You feel yeah. me? If I Why see you out, every time I see you out, we talk. We talking about yeah, that's what I'm saying. We just that bullshit. Yeah. Oh, we was talking to Stink one night. This little dyke girl. Hey. Hey, I was going to this little black girl stage. I was telling everybody she was pregnant hey, by me, and she looked like a boy. <laughs> she looked like a boy. I said, "Hey, Stank, <laughs> Low had it on uh, video." Yeah, I said, hey, I said, I said "Stank's pregnant Snapchat. by me." She said, "I don't oh, know what the fuck, 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 fuck he talking about." about. Yeah. She was like from Tennessee or something. Shout out, Stank. Shout out, Stank. Yeah. <laughs> hey, girl. Yeah. But yeah, so like that's what I'm saying. Like every time I see you out, we chop it up. You come to my party yeah, and shit. It's, we just it's organic drink. though. You yeah. feel me? It ain't none of that. And, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, like. And that's the type of shit I want, bro. With life, because, and that's another thing. People surround themselves. So I go through depression a lot. So I surround myself with people that aren't genuine, that don't give a fuck about me. They give a fuck about what I'm doing and what they can gain from me. You understand what I'm saying? That is a fact. And I'm I glad you finally that. realized yeah, that. Yeah, that's why I don't fuck with no one. So my I point did. now in life I is to fuck with genuine people, people that I know that are that got my best interests, people that that can gain something from me and I can gain something from them. Cause the end of the day, bro, you only want motherfuckers around you. If it's 50, 50, if y'all can help each other out, you hear because what he's saying. like they say, if you sit at a table with a, with a bunch of millionaires, you understand what I'm saying? Somehow you're going to become a millionaire. You sit at the table with a bunch of bums, you're going to become a bum. Yeah. And that's what the, what the fuck happened. happened. I hung out with a bunch of bums the last couple of years. I went completely broke. And that's where it comes back. What you said, yeah. where you, you talk, talk about, about all yeah. these different yeah. investments, I just had money. I wasn't investing in nothing. You have to. You understand what I'm saying? Didn't you invest in nothing. I lost all my money. I started having to sell. To I sold my 77 Nova, my truck, my, my Dodge Charger. I sold a motorcycle. Yes. I sold a house. You understand what I'm saying? Because I started going broke because I was hanging with bums. Now, now look, look at, at me. me. I'm back on my come up. I'm starting to have money again. You know I me, mean? our podcast, we're monetized. Shout out. And this podcast, I don't think we said nothing bad. Yeah. So we're definitely getting paid for this oh, one. God. Shout out, love. Shout out, BT. You know I mean? Yeah, I'm glad so, that we got a normal yeah, one. Yeah, we got a normal yeah. one. But yeah, yeah we, that's because what I'm saying, we, we, like, we on bro, different type of timing. You feel me? It's, bro, life's all about growing, bro. Yes. So, and, and from that right there, what I got to ask you, because you're in the streets more than me. You're still down there. You're still Talk active. I'm not active in Wayne Hills no more. I can't be. You understand? Know I can't Wait be seen out like that. What's he talking what did he just say? I'm not active. You, you, in be down, you be down. You be down. in the Ville and shit all the time. Active. My name rings bells in Wayne Hills. What do you mean by Ville? active? I'm but I'm active. saying though, you be out there with, with in the community and shit. You said that. I get active with the children and stuff like that. Hell what yeah. What you guys mean? Think I was talking about? You're uh, you're super active if we're speaking on that level, Bubby. No, no yet. Not no more. I just quit last weekend, buddy. I just told you, bro. You listen. Let me tell you this. Since we talking with Wayne Hills, we talking. Motherfuckers, know, the hood know who you is, bro. Yeah, no, but what the I'm saying though, you're active you. out there, and you're out I'm, there. I'm the hands on. Yeah, you're out there. Oh, that's the kind of active you meant. Yeah, what the, I don't know, what the fuck? Right. Yeah, about? sir. I think we both thought he was talking about something. Oh, else. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen hey, to me, hey. Look, this we was right on this. You're still <laughs> active <laughs> out there with yes, all sir. the young folks Man. and shit. Man, trying to make a change. So what I'm asking you, talk to me. What's your advice to the upcoming kids around around your? Your hood, where I'm you gonna come tell you, from. I'm going to tell you right tell now. How can, how can they better their lives? This is where we're going to start, for one. Like he said, put yourself around the right people. Protect your energy. But we're going to touch on this right here. Emotional banking. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of this emotional banking, right? Emotional banking. Okay. 
you got somebody, okay, me and you, man, we, we, we over here building like this, like we doing right now, emotional banking. I hear you telling me this and this. So, boom, I start banking into your emotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, giving you interest, this and that, telling you shit, trying to, trying to get you, uh, help you provide, pro progress yourself, stuff like that. I mean, motivate you, things like that, right? But uh, I keep looking up. You coming up in the red. You know what I mean? There's nothing coming back. There's nothing coming back, bro. And I'm still giving you interest and you're in the red. So just like a bank, you know what I mean? Fraud. <laughs> Get them out of here. Protect your energy, kids. That's what I'm going to say, first of all, because you got to go through this person, this person. Emotional banking. Yes, okay, financial. Yes, you cannot take this money with you when you go. This emotional banking. Watch who you protect your energy. We're just going to leave it like that. Protect your energy. Seriously. Well, that's what you got. That, that that's where, where you're going with anybody that you could talk to. Say say a thousand kids watch this yeah. from oh, your I'm, hood. That, 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 sure. Whenever you share this shit, yeah. a thousand motherfuckers that you know. Right. I'm saying that's that's the message you. I you mean, of course. I mean, we're not going to sum it up to that. Yeah, no, but I'm just I'm I, speaking to my my yeah. hood, my children, my nieces, nephews, emotional banking, God, children. Nah, it's not going to be emotional banking. It's believing yourself. We talking to the hood, but and the world believing yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Know your worth. You feel what I'm saying? No matter who it is, if you got a dream and you feel like this is what you want to do, you destined for this, I don't care if it's your mother, father, principal, teacher, brother, believe in yourself first. You feel what I'm saying? Look, look, hold on. I feel like my question didn't even get answered. I don't think I, don't think I explained my question good enough. I'm saying, like, how would you keep the kids out the streets? Keep the kids out the streets? Like, if you could tell kids, like, what comes because you've been in the streets? That's what I'm saying. That's, this is so you've been in the streets. Yeah. All right. So look, you gotta create. Yeah, let me, one, let you, me, gotta, you gotta create opportunities. That's right, what so, I'm out here doing. So okay, say I'm a child, right? I'm a, I'm a little kid. Should they stay out? And the like this. Okay, yeah. that's what I'm trying to get at because we talked about the Crip Mac thing. Right. How he he talks about gang banging's okay, all this shit. Yeah. Do you feel like okay? Say I'm a little kid. I come up to you. I'm like, hey, what's some things in your life that you wish you could have did different? That would help me in the long run to better my life. What would you tell a child? All I could tell them was probably get more involved. You know what I mean? Don't be so, you know what I mean, isolated. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Be willing to learn. Be open-minded. You know what I mean? Ask questions, for one. Ask questions. Don't just try to learn about what you got to ask questions. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no instructions, like I said. So, like, basically... For the kids out there, like, okay, you got to go through it to get to it. You know what I mean? You might fall, bump your head, go to jail. You feel me? You may never go to jail. You may Whatever life brings upon you, you got to go through it to get to it. You know what I mean? But best, best, the best I can tell you is to keep a positive attitude and believe in yourself. Tell me you what, what Graham's Inc. And never give up. Tell me what Graham's Inc. stands for again. Graham's Inc. You know what I mean? The, the G you know how we... You know what I mean? Grams, okay. But are yeah, you... but grams get rich and maintain success. But so is the get rich by any means necessary? In a way. You know what I mean? But this is the whole thing. It's like a a playbook. Yeah, get rich, mm -hmm. but maintain the success. Yeah. Anybody can get rich. Yeah. I done been hood rich a hundred times. Yep. Out the streets. Sometimes I maintained it, sometimes I did. So the object of everything, this BTE, whatever excess, look, we're trying to get rich and maintain success. You know what I mean? That's the message of this whole thing. And it's that balance. We're trying to get rich. I feel like it's always hard for people because people go through so, so many individual crises in their life. Yes, sir. So, you know what I'm saying? You can be on a good path for six months and then go through hell, hell. for two years. Yeah. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Never give up. Yeah. That's, Never give up. Bro. I like that message. Yeah. I didn't listen. I didn't been. I listen. I thought this shit was over with. You feel me? Thought it was over with plenty of times. If you know, you know. I didn't thought it was over with plenty of times, bro. I'm back. Came back. You feel what I'm saying? Because I never gave up. I personally know people who had gave up. I could say R.I.P. him. I could say free him. I could say I'll never see him. You feel what I'm saying? But they gave up. Never give up. Now, what's what's uh what's something in your life that's happened? What's like one of the worst things in your life that's happened that you've had to overcome to make you never want to give up? 
tell you right Something now. that you almost gave up to and then. Uh, for real. You know, I, I went through some shit. When I lost a lot of my brothers, two of my brothers back to back, RP, you feel me? Or well, three of them if you want to be technical. I, I took some losses. I lost a lot of my members. But long story short, more recently, you know what I mean? I lost my little brother, Tim, you feel me? It had me on a, it threw me back in 2020 and shit. But long story short, right after that, I lost my, my, my mentor, Shorty, you feel what I'm saying? Lost him. And I was had some street shit going on. You know I mean, not saying too much. And I was on some crash out shit. Long story short, and immediately went to prison. I feel like God saved me. You feel me? And I was, but I was ready to give up. So long story short, I didn't know. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I almost did. I didn't. Never give up. Yeah, I've I've been to an instant. So like I said, I don't know about you. A lot of people do. I battle with real bad depression. Uh. Real, real bad, like bad, and uh, there's been like quite a few times I was like, "Fuck, dude," you know what I mean? Like, I've never, I've never tried to kill myself, but there's been a few times I was like, "All right, fuck, it, I'm doing it." But then, whenever I don't, right, my life just keeps getting better. It keeps getting better because, like you said, never give up. See, because I, I, and that's a that's a fact. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people think that like the pain goes away whenever you die. Yeah, but then all you're doing is causing the motherfuckers that are around you a lot, a exactly. lot more pain. You know what I'm saying? For so sure. yeah. uh Man, I made that pretty dark, didn't I? Nah, hell no, that dark. was some fire shit. No, I feel like we got on some real shit, and I yeah. like that. I wanted to uh, touch on a, a, a big thing, I think, in this community, yeah. in this town, because we live in a, kind of a small place. Right. I think the drugs is yeah, is, yeah. A, is a real big factor in Man, every what? person that lives here's lives, whether Facts. they're currently yeah. using or have used or their family has, you know. So I feel like um, the drug use in, in this area... And most areas like this, sure. it has it plays a big factor in people being able to not give up. For sure, it definitely does. It definitely does. And you know what I mean? I mean, I I got another business venture, you know what I mean? Go far, you feel me? Felons are recovering, F-A-R, go far. And it really touches on that, you know what I mean? It's, it's in the works right now. It's not like a treatment thing, but it's more or less like you saying, we're trying to stop recidivism. We're trying to stop people from going back to prison. You know what I mean? You got a situation, you feel me? One of my children, you feel me? She hurt. Oh, she she seen me go to jail. She seen her uncles, grandfathers, whatever. She seen them go to jail, this and that. And that's training her. She she may not go to jail ever, but she might get trained up to be a com a comfortable with that type of lifestyle. You feel what I'm saying? So that's where I got the go far thing, like to show people, like listen. We gotta we gotta change the thinking out here. You feel what I'm saying? That's all. It, it starts with your thinking, because we growing up around here, all these drugs. Like nigga, like I grew up selling drugs, doing drugs. I started experimenting with drugs early. You feel what I'm saying? Ecstasy, you feel me? Cocaine, shit like that. When I was younger, but it becomes hand in hand with this game we got played out here. This drug game, and you gonna go one way, you gonna sell, you gonna do it. That's how it is out here, right? But you gotta start so we like this right here. People gonna start seeing like, oh, y'all doing a podcast, boom, music. Like we 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 see we we got a vision now. Like y'all showing us, y'all yeah. from the same spot we from, but y'all doing things different. I commend y'all for sure. Thank you, thank you. And I appreciate y'all for letting me be a part of what y'all got going on for real. For sure. I will say I just want to put this out here public because this is my personal opinion on drugs. I believe all drugs should be legal. Anybody wants to do drugs should be allowed to do them. Yeah. I just believe that if it wasn't illegal, it wouldn't be costing people their lives, their 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 time, their freedom. Yes, you know what sir. I'm saying? I believe that if people, if drugs was legal, it probably wouldn't be so many people like ruining their lives over it. Just be like a party type of thing or like a, a maintain. You know what I mean? You're because I mean, shit. I drink every day. That yeah. ain't no different than somebody that does drugs every day. Yes, you sir. know what I'm saying? Um, and it just helps me maintain. So if somebody needs to do a drug, I'm not shitting on nobody for doing drugs. If that's what helps you maintain and, sure. and get your shit and, and live your life, Man. I mean, fuck, it's hard. You know, I used to shit on it's drug addicts. Like Portland or some shit. I used to shit on drug addicts, but right. like I said, it's all about growth. Every day I grow. It's so, about growth. We all learn. I just, I just hope everybody gets help and you figure out what in your life you, you. Could, I hope you find something in your life that can help you fix it and help you become a better person. Hope we all go forward. We're trying to go forward. 
So listen, do you believe in uh manis what's it called? Manis Manifestation. Yeah, yeah. What's something that you think okay, right now, I want you to tell me something. What's something that you can tell me right now that you're gonna manifest and make happen in your life before you die? That I'm gonna manifest and make happen. Yes, sir. I mean that's kind of a and let me say this one thing, manifestation. You you talk it's, something it, it's, and it's 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 no no for sure, but I'm I'm letting people know because you know what I mean? People might have a religion, God, higher power, universe. Manifestation is the same as a prayer. Just know that. However you're looking at it. Is it? I, I, yeah. I can see. I can see that. I mean, yeah, kind of. Because like, okay. Because if you believe. If okay. I manifest. Well, okay. What do, you, do you consider a manifestation? The, the, does it have to be like this? You're hearing me say it and you're hearing me say it. Or is it like, listen, I'm going to get this motherfucking money. <laughs> How I think about it, I'm like this. Okay, so with the podcast, it's just like a prayer, like Lord. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Because with the podcast, I'll be like this. Like what I'll do is I'll just tell myself, "Is we're gonna make this podcast work out, no matter what." Yeah. So I guess I kind of be like a prayer. Yeah. Well, I mean, you it. also learned last week that you are God. Well, yeah, don't say that. I mean, I mean is that? Well, I mean, that's what Mike Brumfield said. He told he told me that we that I was a God. I mean, we can get on that. It's different. You know what I mean? Like I think that's a little freaky to say. It. I'm People Catholic, are God's so. within yourself. Yeah. I mean, it's, we are we here for that? Who the fuck is what's, this motherfucker? Yeah, right that here? motherfucker told me I was God. Man, listen, I don't know that he's wrong in that aspect. Am I God? I'm gonna tell you who I am. We might all be God. I'm Paul, and that's between y'all because I don't know what the fuck Mike was talking about. Bro, he, was, <laughs> he was on, bro. He was on just different shit. Yeah. He fucked me up, bro. He might have been what changed my life. Shout out Mike Brumfield. He the Shout motherfucker changed my B. life. Hey, bro, bro, he might have been it. We talked about it for like two straight days. Like, yeah, I we called, was calling him. each other like, bro. bro. I went straight yeah. to the gym. Went home to get naked to get in the shower, and I called Greg. I called yeah. Greg every time I get naked. <laughs> Y'all gotta get a picture of his face. Put that on the punching bag at the gym, bro. Nah, I don't even want to see his face no more. He's actually. I'm about to show you. He this. looks like. Uh, Hold on. This is how much this motherfucker's messaged me, bro. I said. I think I seen him. He looks like Mike. Uh, or what's his name? He got the little, uh, little Skip Bayless vibe. Look he got this. the little. Yeah, the little. You remember Baywatch? Back. I don't Hold know on. who you talking. Hey, both y'all look real quick. I'm about to show the camera and everything. Okay, so this is the day we met up with him. This is after. He messaged me all that, all that, all that, all that. I hit him up like, I said, he was calling me. I said, hey, I'm in bed right now trying to get my kids to sleep. I said, I'll call you when I can. Kept messaging me, kept messaging me, all that. He said, you know what's crazy? He said, can you send me Greg's number? I didn't even message him back. Just because you can't come on here and talk about whatever the shit that you talked about, bro. My name Paul. <laughs> so basically what happened is we brought Mike Brumfield on here to talk about aliens because aliens are pretty big in the news right now. I've wanted to talk to this man for months, uh, maybe years. And um, I I kind of I kind of want to apologize. I feel like I dropped the ball in the questioning, but I was so he <laughs> fucked me up so bad, bro. Like he fucked me up so bad. I feel like I was in a trance. Like yeah. I didn't feel like I was even here. Like it was just like I was stuck. Um, I mean, it'll be an enjoyable in. interview if you if you want to hear what he has to say. Um, but it wasn't really an interview. We just let him go, and uh, a lot of the shit he said was wild as fuck. And, and we do I not agree like, with. We are not affiliated with him. We do not agree with the things he said. But we were so flabbergasted that he said some of the shit he was saying. We just kind of we just we, I, I I went I went somewhere else. Oh, bro. I was trying to trauma block it out. Shout out, <laughs> shout out, Lens. <laughs> I was trying to try to block it out because he was saying some shit and I was just like, there's no way that he knows that we're being recorded. Right. So I, I was thought like, that was wild. Yeah, I was like, cry for help. Did well, think about that. I, I didn't because it he could be. That's so, what I'm saying. It still could it be. It may be a cry for I help. I think he but. might think he's Jesus. He, but, thinks, <laughs> he um, thinks so. The, the point in this is that YouTube's community standards might not allow the video. Might not allow us to post a video with Mike Brumfeld. So, so this, this Los video will drop out right after the Mike Brownfield video. So if it, if the Mike Brownfield video is not on here on YouTube at this point, yeah. this is our rumble. You can go watch it. Yeah. To rumble listen to all the will be, that he said. our rumble will be in the description of this video. It will say it right here on the screen. And I'll put it in the description where you can click a link and it'll be in the description. And you might want to do that because I doubt we're going to be able to put that video on YouTube. And also we'll be putting yeah. all of our wild. wild shit on there. Everything that we do wild, because I'm about to get back into making TikTok videos. I'm about to 
get fucking crazy on TikTok. I'm about to do some, start doing some shit on TikTok, bro. Me and you, that's going to blow your mind. And you got to start getting punched on. Oh, they had We're about to start wow. doing shit. I got a, such a badass idea for tomorrow at the gym. I'm going to get the fuck beat out of me. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome video. Need to run that Crip Mac fade. He don't want that. I, 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 I hate Crip Mac to the white meat. You hear me? Ah, oh, fuck him up, his big Samoan ass. Is he Samoan? He ain't even black. He is, but he said he said he's Samoan. He said, "Yep, I'll fuck him up though." Make him bleed red. (laughs) (laughs) Oh fuck! Actually, kick my ass. Yeah, you better chill out. (laughs) Better keep it fifty fifth street. But anyways, though, so back to back to low stuff. But yeah, um, yeah, bro, I had a good time with you. Yeah, listen, man. Like I said, I appreciate y'all having me. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't be around much. Be on the road, city, city moving around, doing, you know what I mean? We spreading the word right now, trying to breed positivity. Uh, we pushing peace, unity, you know what I mean? That's what we on right now. We just trying to get everybody together and make a bag, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like I said, I appreciate y'all for having me. Uh, keep inspiring, motivating, you know what I mean? And just keep keeping this organic, man. Don't panic. Everything's organic, you hear me? I love just it. like that. I love it. But listen, look. I gotta get my children. Yeah, I, they got school in the morning. That time. Yeah, I could probably. Talk so, to but you what I'm gonna do is before, yeah, babies, before we get done, yeah, I want you to go ahead, plug all your shit one more time. Plug your YouTube. Yeah. Do all that. Tell each camera. Los Lunds for all platforms. I'm on Spotify, and iTunes, and I'm Hot the Lie and John. You know what I'm talking about? Some of that. <laughs> and which up, uh, which up coming artists? Go ahead and shop them out one more uh, time. We got listen, man. We got this more salsa. Los Lunch for a video shoot. Uh, shout out a little lyric. We got lyric birthday party. This shit about to go up. KB Films. We got KB Films coming down here. You feel what I'm saying? October 21st, Saturday, man. Tap in with the Tycoon. Uh, we going to drop the private location. You feel what I'm saying? Other than that, Grams Inc. Get rich and maintain success. Shout out Bad News. Shout out Party on Mars, man. The whole gang, man. It's up. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Los. Thank you for coming on, my guy. Sorry, yes, man. sir. Appreciate Everybody, you, Appreciate you. motherfucking like, share, subscribe. Go check out Los. Go buy his merch. Motherfucking try out the energy drinks. Where can we buy your Talk merch? Tycoon. Uh, listen, we got uh, well, we got the website for the. We grabbed that. Well, this is what you do. Just tap in with me on uh, all the platform: Instagram, Facebook. Just PM and we send you the link right now. You feel what I'm saying? All all right. Right. At, at what? Up. What's your at? At Los Lungs Fool. On all platforms. All platforms. All platforms. All right, man. Thank you for coming on for real. I had a good time. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for the the, the sign, the energy drinks. I think the energy drinks actually work because I'm stuttering and and shit now. The biggest (laughs) gift is the knowledge. You know what I mean? And and, and sharing what you know. You want to do something cool for the video? Chug that whole thing right now. I knew you, motherfucking (laughs) man. I want to do it for the video. Listen, I ain't going to beat you. I ain't chugging this one. <laughs> I'm going to hit this bitch one time for the hood, hit it, though. Hit a good one, man. <laughs> hit it for both hoods. Uh, but anyways, though, listen. Uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> for real. I need to see the proof. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to watch the timestamp and be like, hey, remember to cut this part yeah, out. It's going to be right at the end. Cut that out. But anyways, though. Uh, uh, is there anything? Out. Wait. Because I feel like, is there anything we didn't touch on? That shit was organic. Bro, we talked about everything. I could sit back later and be like, ah. Oh. That's how but I'm feeling feel right like, now. It's like I'm feeling like. I bro, feel like, talk, well, I think. I could have felt like it was organic. Yeah. I was more like on some guest shit. But I was popping my shit on check me out shit. But I was more on some I wanted to be here type shit. You, you feel saying? comfortable with the way everything hey. went? Okay. That's what I love. I feel like I didn't want my shit to be two hours yeah, yeah. or one. And I-